Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in Melinda Falcon Studios and today I'm going to show you charging curve of the BMW iX3. Yes, by the way, why do I call it BMW or Volkswagen? Because that's the correct name. That's the correct pronunciation in the German way. Yeah, so I actually recommend a, a video from Speed Comparer. He has lots of cool videos where he explains how to pronounce German names correctly, town names, or I mean city names, or car brands over there. So yes, it is BMW, and it is München. Yes. So anyway, okay, let's uh, let's go. Um, I'm gonna explain to you now. So in the top left corner here, we have the the iX3s, and I also. Uh, include the, the net capacity that I have measured that you actually get out of it and also the actual at least my measured uh, range at 90 kilometers per hour and then uh, on the right top you have ID4 similar uh, kilowatt hour but you see I um, was able to pull slightly less energy from the spec and then similar range also and then top left we have e-tron 55 maybe it was more fair to use the e-tron 50 because that's the one that is closer to price to the other ones because the e-tron 55 is significantly more expensive than the other ones but range wise though uh, not that much i actually measured only 370 kilometers that day but i corrected to 390 because it was quite windy that day so maybe it's a little bit unfair for the e-tron 55 but okay and then the EQC, uh, by the way, this is the old version, the EQ, the Ecron 55. The new one has uh, about 86.5 kilowatt hour. At least that was the, that's the claim. And then how much I actually get out of it, that's a different question. And then on the last one, EQC, that one has 80 kilowatt hour and 420. So you see very similar ranges and very similar battery sizes, except for that uh, the two bottom ones, they are slightly he and slightly thirstier and also heavier. And But we still compare all these four because it's relevant because they are German. Uh, people who are looking for German cars, German, German electro autos, they probably want, they want it for, the, for a reason and they don't care too much about Tesla. And yeah. Okay, anyway, let's just roll the tape. Okay, so right, the, we see that, by the way, yes, I started iX3 a little bit below 10%. That's why the, the speed is a little bit higher, but the other one's now wrapped up. And you see that top speed of iX3 is 155 kilometers, uh, 155 kilowatt. That's really impressive. ID4, on the other hand, can only take 125 on, for now, but eventually it's going to take 170. That's what they claim. I mean, the rumors say. As for e-tron 55, you see e-tron 55 is 141 kilowatt. It's still actually lower than iX3, so really impressive that iX3 has fast charges. EQC, on the other hand, is, is a little bit more conservative. It's only at 170 kilowatts. Right now, uh, iX3 is leading with 25%, but uh, e-tron is right behind. So really impressive about how these two, uh, e-tron and iX3, can go neck on neck. What about ID4? ID4 is still flat at 125 kilowatts, unfortunately, but you see that ID4 is, is falling a little bit behind. Um, and then EQC is still at 108. Nothing, 108, yeah, nothing going on there, I think you can see. But uh, right now, you will see that soon enough, the iX3 will start trolling. Actually, oh yeah, yeah, there, there go a little bit trolling, but this is really impressive iX3 can almost beat or match um, e-tron when it comes to charging speed here and if you really want to hurry oh no 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 that there you go there you see now iX3 suddenly start throttling only at 105 kilowatt what's going to happen with ID4 and ID4 is of course slightly behind but ID4 also did a little throttling and now ID4 is <coughs> also getting another throttling there Okay, uh, either one, a man called Olympus. These car chargers are so fast, I can barely keep up with them. So, oh no, you see right now, X3 is then uh, suddenly charging slower than Etron. So, but on the other hand, if you really want to hammer it, you can charge about 45 to 50%, and it will still be faster than Etron to 50%, or neck and neck, really. So, that's how the, these cars can, can match in the 1000 km challenge, the I, IX3 and the Etron. And then, I, oh no, ID3 now is suddenly below 100 kilowatts, only 96 kilowatts at 50%. So, that's not um, very good for now as compared to the other Germans. Uh, what about EQC? EQC is kind of slow, but you see that it still keeps up because it still has 100 kilowatt more flat more yeah more flat curve more conservative curve e-tron on the other hand is picking up more and more speed now because e-tron is capped at uh, i don't remember i think it was 340 or 360 amp and then as the voltage goes up then uh, the e-tron is charging faster and faster on the other hand ix3 now is down to oh no 94 kilowatt at 64 percent but uh yeah as you see right now that the e-tron is actually pulling away from all the other cars this is what we expect anyway because e-tron has really nice and flat charging curve now what's going on with id4 ID4 is also slightly slower now, only 77 kilowatts, uh, but still pretty impressive for, for that kind of size of car and battery. 
EQC is the, the slowest one for now. It's only at 58% and it's now trotting to 90 kilowatts. Oh, not very impressive. Uh, what is happening? It, ID, IX3 now, it's still charging a little bit faster. You see, uh, when we compare I, IX3 and ID4, which many people will do, you see that ID, uh, IX3 is charging faster than the ID4 all the way now to, I don't know, 80%. And then e-tron on the other hand is just charging like a boss, but it did uh, throttle now. Yeah, e-tron uh, is now throttling, but 93 kilowatt at 84%, that is uh, outstanding. No, None of these other Germans can match e-tron right now. So uh, it's pretty clear now that e-tron is going to be the first one to 90%. It's almost going to hit it now. EQC on the hand is, is also having a, a little throttling, but you see that EQC is starting to catch up with the other ones because we now have 82 kilowatt versus only 60, 70 kilowatt on the other ones. Okay, there we go. E-tron there. E-tron hit 90%. Well, let's just keep going. Let's see the power of e-tron compared to the other ones. So IX3 now has reached um, 82% and it's now also throttling pretty hard. ID4 should also hit 80%. This is the way batteries work that once they hit 80%, they shouldn't be charging too fast. Otherwise, you can hurt the battery. But you see EQC is now starting to catch up. This is really impressive. EQC, okay, it started slow, but uh, EQC is about to catch up with ID4. With this, uh, <laughs> what's going on here right now? But e-tron on the other hand, charging like a Bars. It's still getting. I mean, how healthy is this? It's taking 61 kilowatt at 97 percent. Okay, 97 percent is not true to 97 percent, but it could be still about 90 percent. And taking that high power, we will see eventually when I test it how much degradation it has. But Etron is about to hit 100 percent even there. Okay, but then okay, so <laughs> but Etron already hit 90 percent first, and then IX3 is going to be the second one to 90 percent. There you go, IX3. Wow. After 42 minutes, yeah, still charging at 46 kilowatt at uh, at that state of charge. And now, w which car, which car is gonna be third now? Is it going to be ID4 or EQC? Because ID4 is only charging at 41 kilowatt, and EQC is charging at 57 kilowatt. It's gaining like a bows. Oh, but will that be enough? Because ID4 is almost done, and EQC is almost done. Oh, okay, ID4 finished before EQC. That was really close. But it means that once the ID4, or if it gets the speed update, then the ID4 will be able to match. EQC e-tron and ix3 so wow that was pretty intense man oh so wow uh what i see now uh, over and over again with these german electro autos is that uh, uh at least for the germans they like to make uh, fairly nice and flat curve i actually don't know why uh, and also the german uh, uh, I keep saying electro, but the German uh, EVs, they tend to also have a top buffer. So even when you charge to 100%, I've seen this via some OBD tool or whatever, that um, uh, you, you you charge to 100% on the display, but the real state of charge is about 95, 96%. Uh, why did they do this? Well, I guess it's to uh, prevent people from charging to 100%, prevent them from using the 100%. Unlike Tesla or Leaf or Ampere E, where you can actually charge to 100%, it will take a long time. But uh, yeah, then it actually hurts the battery. But most modern EVs nowadays, you can set a charge limit. So they, for daily use, to use only 60, 70, 80%. And then when you want to go on a long trip, you can occasionally do 100%, but it's not going to hurt the battery that much rather than charging to 100% every day. But then many cars, they don't have a charge limit uh, thing, whatever. So that's probably why they have this top buffer. But of course with e-tron and yeah, I think most, yeah, all these cars I mentioned, they also have the uh, possibility to set charge limit, but okay. So anyway, really impressive how fast the charges and the iX3, you see, Impressive. So it seems like, okay, um, I haven't heard of any rumors of iX3 getting faster charging. Most likely they won't. Uh, the same also with uh, e-tron and EQC. They haven't updated anything, but ID4 on the other hand, ID2, ID4 or the MEB platform. Seems like they start a little bit uh, conservative. And then once they gather more data from the cars himself being used, beta testers then they will in unleash more power when they they are more confident that uh, the the battery can take more but it should be able to take more because you see the other cars with similar sized batteries can actually go faster so there should be no uh, no reason for uh, for the id4 id3 to stay behind and only charge 125 kilowatt but of course who knows these rumors if they are true or not but uh, yeah once um, once volkswagen uh, updates the battery I guess I need to take another battle, right? <laughs> okay, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.